Okay, I couldn't get past that stupid level, so I did like most players do. Cheat it. I kind of used the password to skip all that. So, I'm back to playing more of this game. And I figure I'll have to get more extra... Well, already... I know how to get extra health in this game. I pre I looked up the cheat code. You have to press... Let's pause the game. Press the triangle button. Well, all the buttons. Triangle, X, X, X. Circle, X. Triangle... Blah, blah, blah. Let me start over. Triangle, X, X, X. Circle, X, square. Triangle, X. Triangle, circle. And that's how you get your powers back, by doing that. Yeah, I know I'm kind of cheating my way to victory, but... Do you see any players get this far into the game? Has anybody ever gone this far about cheating? Just ask me. Yeah, I don't think so. Oh, it's glass. I doubt anybody can get this far into the game without dying. Let me just show you most of the levels on how far that most players that get this far into the game. But believe me, it's hard. It's really freaking hard. Just imagine if anybody would play Bloodborne, and you'd be thinking, okay, this game is way too hard, I'm gonna use cheat codes. Let's skip all that. And it just really pisses me off when I am trying my best not to die, but you're like, okay, I'm getting tired of this. There's one way to do this is by obviously using a cheat code and then going visible for a short amount of time. But trust me, this is worth doing right now. And I had to use it right away because of that. And you can see my life bar is 6 right now. So yeah, clicking all those lives are just gone now. Because I guess when you use a password, it goes back to 5 lives. Let's say it's like a total waste of your time. Which it is. But it's worth playing this hard-ass game. I don't hate this game, but it's just damn near impossible. God damn it, not again. I can't even see where I'm jumping at. You have to make a leap of faith to know where you're gonna jump at. And it's like... 
guessing where you're gonna jump at before it's too late, you'll be like, shit, I'm dead. So do yourself a favor and do what I do. You just keep on pausing the game and the star bear your health that's left. I know it's gonna suck and it's gonna get annoying at the wrong you know, but give it a try and do what I do. You think if it's too hard, then do it now. You're gonna lose a bit of your health points a lot. I'm gonna try again. That's how you get your health back. Just try to beat this game without getting hit. Just freaking try. Freaking Regan Balls, really? I'm already getting tired of playing this game, so once I'm done, or how long this recording's gonna last, I'll play something else that doesn't involve spiders. And now I'm facing scorpions. Lucky shot. Eat it. I don't even care anymore because this is too freaking tough. You imagine a little kid would get frustrated after this. You'd be like, okay, I'm done with this. I am not doing any more of this game. I don't like it. It's too tough. I replaced SpongeBob and playing this tough spider game. Okay, what's the point of that exactly? Just for me to collect all those DNAs? Okay, that probably makes sense. Poop some bombs in your face. You bastard! I am no longer enjoying this. If it ends, then good. I'll see you all next time when I'm playing a less harder game. I guess it's better than prison ABA ABA on that Warriors game on the NES. If you know what I mean.
music sounds pretty damn amazing. Or should I say spectacular? Get it? Because that's like a reference to Spider-Man. <laughs> 